welcome to our sustainable homestead in the middle of the woods. We've been cultivating the land day and night for the past two years to provide our own food, water, electricity, and shelter. We've definitely made more than a few mistakes along the way, but today we're pressing on and continuing to right those wrongs. We post new videos every Sunday, so if you find yourself enjoying this one, make sure you hit that subscribe button and come along. I got a really big, straight, stiff stud. Was someone looking for this? Today's not gonna be a good day. Today is not gonna be a good day. You can feel it. Oh, big time. Anything that can go wrong is about to go wrong. But I think as long as we accept that, it'll be good. One, two, three, four. Todd, are you just cutting wood like willy nilly? <laughs> what are you doing? Hmm. So are these the wall boards? I don't know. Those are, I, I do know that. Okay, so those are the wall boards. Mm -hmm. And what are these? Footer and header. Okay. before we like really do it and make sure that the alignment, like placement of them works. What we're gonna do is set it back five eighths of an inch on the edge here. Right, so do we wanna start screwing that in? I'm getting too old for this shit. <laughs> with it? Yeah, I think it's a really good height. I think so too. So we framed up this little wall here and then yeah, I think it's gonna work. I think so. Yeah, well, it's just gonna be nice to not lose things constantly behind here, so. Just not quite sure yet how we're gonna attach it to the cabinets, but one step at a time, right? I'm not lost, I'm So here's where we're at. We have the false wall, half wall thing built. And you may notice it's not like perfectly stable. Todd just came up neither with- Neither are we. Yeah, neither are we at this point. Todd came up with a really good idea to get these plates here to fasten onto here to hold it like against the cabinet bank so like, it's more solid. Yeah, cause the cabinets are I mean, if you remember, we really screwed these into the floor, so they're not going anywhere. So in theory, the wall's not either. Yeah, plus we fastened the wall in behind, down and through the floor. So we're thinking this will work. We're hoping it will work. <laughs> How are you feeling about it? Oh my, it's going <laughs> a lot slower and more complicated than I originally thought it was going to be. Yeah. So I'm really excited to get past this and onto something more fun. Honestly though, what else is new? Yeah. <laughs> Happens literally every single week. We're like, oh, this is gonna be easy. And then it ends up being not easy. Not either. easy at all, the most difficult. We get it done though. We do. Well, we've gotten this far. Do you wanna pull in here, hun? See, it pulls it back. Just gear down for a sec, my love. Gear down, big rig. I'm feeling pretty good about it now. Meltdown's over. <laughs> Got it secure? I think so, look at that. Like that's not moving. It's so solid. Yeah, you can have a party on top of that, tap dance. <laughs> Worked out well. Okay, we are gonna put the countertop on and then we're gonna get started on the backer board. I'm excited. I'm excited too, it's coming together. Okay, let's get the counter. How do they go in? Like regular? Yeah. So, 
how are we gonna attach this up here? We gotta keep the momentum going. God, you're on a tight ship. Someone's gotta. So it'll be like this. How do you feel about that? The main thing is, is this able to open? Yeah. You're not gonna be in both at the same time. Well, you never know. Never saw myself living in a dome, so I can't promise I'm not gonna try and have both cabinet doors open at the same time. Killer kitty. <laughs> Killer kitty. You good girl. I'm fastening it to the floor. Toppling over, you're putting a gas oh, line on it. Like, yeah, okay. Squirrel gets running, knocks it over, and rips the gas line, and then we've got propane pumping in here. Okay, okay, okay. So it seems as though they go like this. The washer's used here to keep it level with... Hmm. Okay, man, we said we were done with it. I know. I feel like Ikea Kitchens is like half taking their suggestions and have to figure it out as you go and making it work. Okay, this isn't bad at all, my love. Not bad whatsoever. <laughs> how many times have you said that? Hey, but how many times have you sat in disrespect, despair? In <laughs> disrespect? No, but you just sit in despair on the back of the couch while I'm sitting here having a puff and figuring it out. Happy anniversary, love. Happy anniversary. Oh! We're gonna screw them in now so they don't mess up again. Does that work? I distinctly remember the last time we did this. We said we'd never buy IKEA again. <laughs> no, and here we are. <laughs> well, it's because it needs to match, that's why. Yeah. But, um, I really don't like these island kits. I don't think that they make any sense. They make it more difficult. They do. But we're pretty much gonna make it work for us this time. Rather than using their holes and putting them on the ends, I'm gonna screw it into the floor and then screw the cabinets in. And, and hope, then for the best. hope for the best. <laughs> How do you feel about that? That's pretty solid. Yeah. What do you think? Like that's not moving. No. So now we can lift these on. Okay. And then we just fasten that in. Your job is to screw where it's lined up, put the hole in, and then I'm gonna put the screw in. What's that now? You are better at doing that than me. So the next unhelpful drawing shows the little man sawing these wooden boards, and I think the brackets attach to that so that the finishing board can attach to that, I th I'm thinking. Gotcha. Goes on the end, right? The back. Oh, okay, okay, we're cooking with gas now. Let's grab that piece, fire up the saw, and get cutting this. Is this blue stuff fine on? I think it'll gum it off. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we're ready for the countertops. Let's quickly cut it up. Okay, let's do it. You nervous? Um, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to mess it up. It would be an expensive mistake. Ready? Yeah. It looks good. You happy with it? Yeah. What do you really think? Good. Really good. Wow. Look at us with a kitchen, like a proper kitchen. Looks really good. Okay, let's um, measure out the inch 
overhang on either side and screw it in place. What do you think? It's so nice. <laughs> Isn't it? Are you happy? Yeah. Like, so much more storage space. And to be able to like, look out and have this as a view. Yeah, because before you always had your back when you were cooking. You always had to cook on this space here. So you were like this, and there's no hanging out. Super exciting. And maybe we can like, actually move back in and... Sure. Yeah. Uh, do you want to like, move in? Kind of, yeah. Like we can unpack into the kitchen cabinets and sort of clean this area up. Good job, team. Good job. Thanks, guys. Couldn't have done it without you boys, <laughs> huh? Oh, good boys. So I'm sure this will come as a surprise to absolutely no one, but we continued on working on the dome. We just, we can't do the tent anymore. We needed to have the space to move back into. I'm so glad we did it. Oh yeah, it's nice to be home. I've moved all of our stuff into the kitchen and there is so much extra storage space now. I I'm, love it. Love it. And this? then this oh, looks jinx. so cool. So this is like our most commonly used thing. So as we're cooking, we can just quickly grab them down and it saves a lot lot of space in the cupboards. I just love yeah. it. Yeah. And obviously, we still have a little bit of work to do here. Oh, you don't want to leave that? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to it. But while Todd was busy on that side of the dome, I was working on the other side of the dome, building our new wood storage area. Which looks amazing, by the way. You like how it turned out? Oh, I love it. I just think it looks so classy, using the same countertop throughout the entire dome, plus we built this also, and it's just a cheap cabinet from Ikea, but we were able to elevate it with the matching counter. I just think it looks it looks really sharp. Yeah, well it ties it in and makes it feel like it's actually part of the kitchen, so I'm yeah. very happy with how it turned out. Yeah, the dome is really starting to feel like our home, so with that we bought brand new sheets, and I'm just so excited to put this space together. Like, Oh, I'm excited to sleep on not an air mattress. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this place. All right, I'll help you set up the bed. Okay. I'm excited. Very excited. Oh, there's a beautiful color too. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie's getting ready to jump up. Uh, oh, there's nothing better than fresh heat, guy. Well, I think it's safe to say the new bedding is a Charlie and Eddie approved. <laughs> oh, 100% improved. What do you think, buddy? <laughs> When we were looking for new sheets for the dome to fit the new vibe in here though, we noticed how expensive bedding can be, but luckily with Brooklinen, who's the sponsor of today's video, it doesn't have to be. Brooklinen was founded on the philosophy that people deserve beautiful home essentials without luxury markup. And with over 20 different colors and patterns to choose from, there's something for everyone's style at Brooklinen. We went with their classic sheet set, which comes with four pillowcases, a fitted sheet, a top sheet, and a duvet cover, which saved us 25% buying it as a bundle. These sheets are super cool and crisp, perfect for hot night sleepers like Eddie and Todd. Well, I'm just hoping that I can finally stop doing that thing where I put my leg around the duvet to cool off in the middle of the night. They are super high. <laughs> quality sheets. We're actually no stranger to them. We first put them in the RV like a year ago. Yeah. But it's nice to finally have them in the dome in our new setup. I'm just really excited about it. Well, it just makes it feel more officially home that yeah. this is where we live now. And if you want to save $20 on your order of $100 or more, make sure you use promo code Tyler Todd at checkout or you can head on down to the description box of the video and there you'll find a link to take you over to Brooklyn. All right, I think we're gonna get started cooking supper. What do you think, are you hungry? You ready for supper? <laughs> He'll get out of bed for that. <laughs> ready, buddy? All right, let's start cooking. This shard is doing so well. It really is. Charlie's been eating it actually. <laughs> <laughs> non stop? Yeah. New favorite snack. Hey, buddy. Oh, you. you want hey, leave lettuce? my Swiss chard alone. <laughs> Do you want the lettuce? Okay, I gave you a piece already. That's what you're going to eat. <laughs> I like it fresh from the plant. Hey, buddy. I'm going to grab some oregano too. I'm talking sink it
Dad. Only fans people have ice in their homie wine. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, ready to make some supper? Okay. We're like doing a one pan thing. I'm throwing it. Have you seen the TikToks with Noni's cooking? We're trying it. Tell him we need to know the, like how much. I don't have a scale. What am I supposed to do? Like is a shot? Is a shot glass of tomato the same as an ounce? When you don't have enough penne, you turn it into potluck night, and you have protein instead. This is called toilet bowl pasta. <laughs> I am going to appear on an episode of my 600 pound life. <laughs> this is actually really good. It's so good. I mean, we shushed it the hell out. Mm -hmm. Martha don't know how to cook her shit, but she had a good base, you know? Mm. I am so impressed with how this one pot pasta turned out. Oh, it's gonna be a regular thing. We've never done it before, but because I've always been a little skeptical of how it was actually gonna turn out. But I do have to admit, there is something about the fact that the flavor is cooked into the water, which is then cooked into the noodle that makes it. So I don't know about you, but I would rather not even have pasta if it's overcooked. And that's why we've always been skeptical because like you would think it that would it would. go like mush. into a mush. Yeah. But it's not. It's, I'm it's really like impressed. mushy gushy. <laughs> <laughs> we shushed it up quite a bit and we added like a lot of spices and um, more onion and more garlic than we normally What's wrong? Is he embarrassed love? <laughs> I'm not embarrassed. <laughs> anyway, I think this is a perfect dinner date for our eighth wedding anniversary. Can you we're believe it? I know. I definitely, definitely eight years ago did not think that this is where I was going to be today, but... There's nowhere yeah. else I'd rather be. There's nowhere else I'd rather be either. Exactly. But on that note. Except. What? I'd rather be with a big old bowl of pasta <laughs> on my stomach in bed watching some TV right now. So. <laughs> on new sheets. Oh. It's going to be so good. All right. Well, we're going to go celebrate our night and um, yeah, we're going to pick you up in the morning. 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 How did you sleep? I slept so good. <laughs> I'm in like very big denial about getting out of bed. The rain through the night on the dome roof, as well as like waking up to it, was just beautiful. Oh, I just topped off the new sheets and pasta. <laughs> <laughs> but I should get going. The guys are going to be here soon, and I should make some coffee and get going. All right, time to get up, boys. Ready? We woke up to such a beautiful and moody day here today. It's supposed to rain finally. I honestly never thought I'd be this excited about having rain, but we really need it. It's just such an important part of the equation. So feeling pretty good about that. There were so many of you who reached out with concerns of how close those three trees behind the solar panels are to the panels. And to be really truthful, Todd and I literally have no idea what we're doing. I know it may seem like that, but every week we're figuring out problems as they come up. And thankfully we have this amazing community of all of you who, even you sometimes don't have all of the answers, but you leave comments down below that kind of get our minds thinking about projects and what we should be doing differently. So just want to say how much we appreciate you all. And on that note, we're bringing in the experts today and we're going to deal with that problem. So we're going to get started. Maybe we should just take time, move to the coast or the county lines. Home room, yes, yeah, so we need just enough space to fit you and me. Be tough, we'll see you through at the end of the day. It brings you back to you, saying, Oh, 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 now nah, I found you just in time. Yeah. 
You look a little nervous, love. No, I was nervous. No? Now it's turned to fascination. Well, they're confident in themselves, so who am I to judge them? And I feel... <laughs> well, I will, I will be here judging. <laughs> I can promise you that. Well, it's quite interesting the way they do it. They're going up and taking all the branches off, and then they're cutting it into sections and dropping it controlled. And then once it's down past where it would be a risk for the panels, they then cut the whole tree. So yeah. it's pretty cool to see. Way yeah. different than we would have done it. <laughs> Wait. We would have had a, like a rope tied on to the back of the truck and be like, three, two, one, go, and you like zoom off while I cut. Yeah, no, they know what they're doing. They're definitely the experts, but um, yeah, the solar panels are my baby, so I'm a little bit, a little bit nervous watching it, but it'll be fine. Yeah, I'm also excited because we're gonna get a lot of mulch and wood out of this. So the trees that are going, there's two hemlocks and then a cluster of maples. The maples we're gonna use for burning in the house because it's hardwood. And the hemlocks are actually a softwood, which is better for the sauna because it'll give us a higher heat quicker. So we're actually gonna just move them over to where the greenhouse is going, let them dry for the summer, and then we'll chop and split them this fall. But it's kind of cool, you know? Yeah, we should actually talk to them about keeping larger chunks because maybe we could make some beams out of the hemlock. And we can use those beams to build a sawmill so then we can like start sawing our own lumber. <laughs> <laughs> Next week on Tyler and Tom. <laughs> oh, my. It's pretty interesting to watch though. Yeah, it is. Okay, well, that's what we're doing. We're just gonna keep watching them do it and hope that they don't hit the panels. Ain't nobody else now How I feel when you're not around now To pour another out And give me a second hand smoke And I can't even remember so just a couple short hours later and look at how much progress they've made. They successfully removed every tree from here without scratching or denting the panels, which is huge. Would have been a completely different story if Tyler and I had to do this project ourselves. So this is proof that there are some things it's better to call in the experts. But what I'm the most excited for is all this firewood. Like I knew there was gonna be a lot, but I didn't expect it to be this much, which is super, super exciting. They're now working on the hemlock over by where the RV is parked because it is dead. So it's time for it to go. But yeah, they're making a lot of progress and doing really good work. So very, very happy. I found you just in time, yeah. I found you just in time, yeah. I found you just What do you think? It's so cool. Look at that. They were explaining that this, all of this black on the inside of the rings might have been oil or something from like years ago if the property was harvested. So it's pretty cool to see this. Yeah. We had them leave this one in a big piece because we still have plans of doing something with it. Yeah. So we're thinking like a countertop for an outdoor kitchen, maybe incorporating it into the indoor kitchen. I don't know, but. Yeah, I think it'd be cool to be able, like obviously this tree had to go. So to be able to like somehow incorporate it into the design would be a really special yeah. thing. Plus hemlock is so beautiful. Yeah, exactly, and expensive, and we got a big ass piece of it for yeah. free, so. <laughs> we just need to find a mill to send it to, which shouldn't <sighs> be too hard. And then we need to deal with all this branches and <laughs> firewood, know. and yeah. I think that we've done enough. Today was quite stressful, just like we've been really worried about the panels and how this is all gonna go. Yeah. And now we it can all breathe. Out. So I think that we should go hang out with the babies for a little bit. I'm down with that. Okay, go get the stick. Where'd it go? Go get it, Eddie. Not the brighter. Good boy. <laughs> Come here, Eddie. Let go, let go. Eddie, let go. We are having a great afternoon outside with the boys. And as always, thank you so much for choosing to spend your Sunday with us. Go get it. And we will see you next week. Where is it?